that's my story. So we were about, oh gosh, somewhere between three and four weeks into rehearsal of Bright Star. And um, we saw the trickle down effect. We saw things starting to close one by one. We saw Native Gardens elect not to continue. Then we saw once um, get, get, uh, get shortened, I guess, for lack of a better word with the plaza um and then we were we were the last man standing we were the last hold out to hold out hope so um i actually was at the last few days of rehearsal because they were doing things that i wasn't involved with so that that made it even harder for me to get that sense of closure because i'd been disconnected from it for even a few days before that and just from talking to some of the other cast and and crew members um they could feel it during rehearsal they knew that this may be the last rehearsal they had <clears throat> yeah it would have been a, a great challenge but and we still have hold out hope that maybe maybe we can do even a, a stage reading of it or something anything the day that uh, OCP finally decided to close, they had just gotten the posters in um, from the photo shoot, the promo posters. And I, we saw renderings of Lindsay's beautiful costumes and I thought about all of her hard work that she will never see realized. I thought about all of the scenic and lighting designs and just all of the marketing and the tr just the snowball effect that that creates. Um, with everybody's heart and soul that they've put into it. And now it's just sitting there empty. It's all the fabrics laying in the costume shop or half finished or, you know, all of the, the plans and the blueprints are, it seem all for naught at this point. Uh, well, luckily a Facebook page was started. For, so we've kept in touch through that. We've been just, posting back and forth about how the songs are still running through our heads and it's it's just so hard to leave behind when it became part of your life and you were just just getting to the meat of everything just starting to feel comfortable in your own character's skin and with each other and starting to bond as a cast your little one uh got cut short her performance of once yes um Luckily, it was their last weekend, and I know if you talk to any other cast member, they, they would say yes, but, you know, there was so much more that was to be had there with that. Um, but Kimberly was very good about letting those little ones get their last performance in. She put all three of them together uh, on stage so that they all got to be together backstage and have that little bonding time which I think was so important for them because they did bond so much through that and then they all got to take a bow together at the end so it, it was a perfect ending short as it was you have to take it to the next step the very nature and the very heart of our profession is is creativity and we have we have to think outside the box and find diverse, find innovative ways to help continue to tell our stories. And we have to grieve and we have to mourn a little for the things that were lost. But I think after that, we, we have to move forward. You just have to move on and think, okay, what can I do to better the theater community? I think what it means to me is that um, we're all part of something greater than ourselves and I think it represents all of the legends that have come before us and all that are still to come 
and it, it helps me reflect on uh, what legacies we leave to the theater community. Because um, there, there will be, there will be a yet to come. It, it may look different, it may cause us to think about things in a different way, but it will come back.